Hi guys, welcome to the channel and welcome now to build update number five. Yeah, that's build update number five of the uh, Meng Bradley. It's the M2A3 one, not the M3A3, uh, which I did previously, but this is the M2A3 with a full interior. Okay, so in the last update, we got the interior all painted up. So since then, um, after joining it, I'm after joining it together and uh, did a few little bits around the outside of it. Okay, I made a start, shall we say. I kind of jumped up ahead, jumped ahead of myself, and I've done a few um, a few of the stages, which I suppose I should really apologize for. Nah. Anyway, <laughs> I jumped ahead and I made a start already. So let's get onto the bench. I'll show you what I've gotten done, and I'll show you what we've got left to do. Well, what we've got left to do in this update, because this update, I'm hoping to get the outside and the, 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 the lower hull completely finished. Okay. Um, well, when I say completely finished, I mean built wise and uh, all ready then for painting. So let's get down to the bench and we'll have a look. Okay then. So before I go showing you what I've gotten done in the, so far, shall we say, let me show you where we got to in the last update, right? We got as far as step 24, okay? We added the little bits and pieces. Two sides were apart, and we did all painted in the inside of that, right? So what I've done since is i put the two together, okay? Step 25 then basically was just a couple of these little add-on armor pieces. I just had to, you know, put a couple of little bits and pieces onto them, right? So I did those. I did step 26 where basically I attached those little pieces plus another uh, two or three okay three more armor panels went on um, a kind of a cover armor panel just a little, uh, little shield piece that went on um, a little bit of PE went in there and uh, another little uh, piece of armor okay and this piece here piece E5 you see it there it's a little uh, just a tiny little piece. Oh, unfortunately, that piece pinged on me. Yes, it pinged off my tweezers when I was fitting it, and I have not been able to find it since. And that was about two days ago, and I still haven't been able to find it. Um, I did spend quite some time on the floor, rooting around the floor, seeing could I find it, but unfortunately, to no avail. So I'm kind of uh, saying that I will have to do without that little piece. So. Hopefully it won't come important later on. But anyway, I also did step 27. In step 27, then we added on a piece of add-on armor here at the front. Okay, small piece of a PE grill, uh, a shield, and a couple of other little bits and pieces, and a little bit of PE. So that's as far as I've gotten. Okay, so we'll show that. Right, there she is now, all nicely put together. Right, here's our interior as you can see it right that's well, pretty dark in there so it's down to it's down to getting a bit of drawing a bit of light on the subject right and there we go by a bit of uh, manipulation there we go right there's our interior all nicely put together with the safety belts in the whole shebang and it looking looking quite nice i must admit i really like the look of the inside of that it uh, looks absolutely fabulous right um up here then we've got uh, the driver section right and we got the back seat the back of the seat there apparently i found out last night uh one of the lads told me on the uh, on the live update that that is where the loader for the um the tow missiles that's where he sits he sits in there he's part of the actual crew for the vehicle rather than the uh, the lads that sit in the back okay we've got our driver's seat that's all in place and when you close it all up you can't see half the feckin stuff you can see your the gearbox but you can't see the engine so you, I mean, there's a lovely engine in under that you can't see it at all you can just see the top of the uh, air intake right but anyway these panels that i've added there's the uh, front armor piece right that's it there we added another little one up here uh, a couple of these little shields and things big armor panels there four there one two three and four and the square one there at the back little bits of pe then like i said a little bit of pe around that right 
and we've got a PE uh, grill cover there and the fact there's that little shield I was talking about just a little kind of a cur turnover shield so that's all I've really gotten done as a start so you know it wasn't anything major um, so we didn't really miss out too much on anything there so what have we got to get done and what am I intending to get done on this uh, on this update right so next up anyway we're working on the uh, the driver's vision enhancer assembly that sounds cool doesn't it vision enhancer assembly now we won't be putting in the um the clear parts okay there's uh one two three four little um uh periscopes okay we won't be adding in the periscopes they're glass and it's got to go you know, you've got to go dealing with um masking and all that when it comes to painting so i decided to leave them off yes i'm going to leave them off i'm going to fit them after painting because i'm going to have the hatch completely open anyway so um i don't have to worry about it too much okay i'm just going to have to sort of sit it in place block up the holes and then get get everything kind of sprayed around there but we're going to build up the rest of it anyway there is a couple of little bits of pe there um we've got a kind of a cover piece we've got a holding open device i presume and one or two other little uh, little bits and bobs to go in there as well okay now uh step 29 then we've got the uh, the fitting of the uh, the driver's hatch um and like i said because i want it open uh, i'll be you know being able to have it open um i just got to make sure that i don't glue it into place so i can have open and close it and play around with it and do all those kind of lovely things to it um, we've also got a, a bit of spare uh, track links um, sort of a, a lifting hook and a couple of other little bits and pieces there that's in step 29 step 30 then um, we've got the main cover for the engine okay that's got to be fitted um and like i said again i'm going to have it that i can open and close it so i'm going to kind of play around with that making sure that we can do all that um we have a cover here for uh, our engine um uh, air intake assembly and we've got more bits of the add-on armor to do as well so that's a kind of a pretty busy one there step 30. all right uh, moving on then we've step 31 where we're adding some parts for the uh sort of the, the turret ring um a couple of more little add-on bits and pieces all right and here then we've got the uh, that rear hatch um the roof hatch assembly okay so i'll be playing around with that um step 33 we'll be fitting that and um, we've got some parts here then for uh, for the rear of the vehicle um, the ramp and the ramp door that's all got to be done okay and um, we've got to get our tracks made and we've got sort of uh, 80 links per side to get made up and I've only made up a few so far this is all I've gotten made up so far. Okay, didn't count them, but uh, shall we say it's not 80 anyway. <laughs> but I've made a start of the tracks anyway. That's going to take ages. Um, we're fitting all that, fitting all the couple of little bits and pieces. Okay. Um, we've got the uh, air conditioner okay there's two of them left and right here we've got to go on to the back and then we've got our um, side skirts now i'm going to make up the side skirts i won't be actually fitting them in place because um it's going to kind of uh, make it awkward for fitting the tracks but i'm going to have them ready to fit i'm going to have them all made up and everything else um and we've got additional armor then for the glaciers plate and uh, that's all got to be done as well step 42 and uh, then step 43 was fitting that last little bits of extra add-on armor and fitting the sides and like i said we won't be fitting the sides but we will be fitting the extra add-on armor and that's what we're hoping to get in this update okay
Okay, so quite a bit to do, quite a bit to do. And like I said, I've already made a little start on it. Um, there we go. I still have a couple of pages of uh, work to do. All right, so I'm going to get stuck in now. I'm going to do step 28 and 29, and we'll come back then. We'll have a look at step 28 and 29 when they are done, okay? And just as a quick reminder as to what they are. Okay, and I will be back to you. ASAP. Right, that's that's them done. Okay. Right, up as far as step thirty. Fit of the front of that there. A bit of PE there over the um, the air intakes. A couple of other little bits and pieces, you know, and everything. You know, quite nice starting to kind of cover it up now anyway uh, no problems no problems uh, well when I say no problems I had a slight problem I must admit here with the hinges on this uh, front engine deck set type thingy cover all right yep that's the technical term for that um, it was a very very small little uh, oh Uh, if you can see it there, right, let me just try and get, get it into kind of view, shall we say. To the top of that there, see that opening, right, whoa, come on, auto focus, 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 <laughs> there, see that little kind of C opening. On this side it broke when I was fitting it in and it's very hard to kind of pop down over the, uh, the little receptors there here and here that they kind of fit onto now whether they are too big or the openings were too small I do not know but I'm not really too bothered about it because I'm going to have it in the open in the open position so what I'm going to do is after it's all painted up and everything else, I'm just going to kind of glue that in the open position. Okay, as simple as that. Just going to pop them on there and glue it open. So I'm not really too bothered about it, but you know it would have been nice for it to, uh, you know, to kind of clip in, but it didn't. It didn't clip in. So unfortunately, nothing more I can do about that. What do you mean? Because the damage is done. But I'm not really too worried about it because it's not uh, not on view shall we say it's not on view so let's keep moving on uh we've got more work here on the outside of this we've got or should i say plenty more work to do on the outside of this um we've got these little bits and pieces to make up okay and fish um this is number one there which i presume in other words you've got to do that first then fit second exhaust outlet cover right that's the exhaust outlet cover is two parts that got to sort of make up that um engine exhaust outlet which is this piece here another two pieces to make up that so you're gonna make up that then fit it then make up this then fit that um and then we've got this little doohickey here okay there we go i suppose i should have kind of showed them up camera a bit better than what I was but anyway there we go they've all got to be kind of fitted into place and shows you proper fitting there for those and then we've got these two kind of uh, ring pieces okay they go around the uh, where the turret pops into and we've got another little uh, bit of uh, plastic here C6 that's got to be done as well right so that's step 31 and this is step 32 where we're making up um, the passenger compartment roof hatch assembly okay we've got to make up all that all right and then we're fitting it right yep and then we're fitting that so i'm going to get all those three steps done 30 30 oh sorry 31 32 and 33 i'll get them fitted and as usual we'll come back we'll have a little quick discussion on how that went any problems or anything more 
anything else to break on me. Hopefully nothing more will break and it'll be all kind of fitting hunky dories. So anyway let's uh, bear with me and we'll get them done. Okay then, so I'm after getting those couple of um, steps done. All right, that's uh, 31, 32 and 33. Okay, all those steps are done. So we'll have a look at what I did and then we'll, we'll have a look at it on the model. Okay, I fitted these sort of, uh, seem to be sort of an extra kind of an armour piece around the base of the torus so nothing can kind of get in there. Um, this board here engine exhaust of some kind engine exhaust outlet there we go that's all done um, and then we were on to the uh, the crew com passenger compartment roof hatch okay the assembly for that a um, couple of little bits and pieces to go on to it and then we fitted it there with uh, three little um, hooky things that went up and over um, went together very very smooth very very smooth indeed um, and also a couple of little pieces here on the back panel. Alright, so we'll have a look at that. Okay, so there's those couple of little bits and pieces there on the back panel. Right, and there's our roof hatch. And as you can see, it opens and closes absolutely perfectly. Lines up beautiful. Okay, and operates in a open and closey type way <laughs> okay and it was a handle here on the inside and uh, another sort of i'd say it's a latch of some kind okay so it opens and closes fits in perfectly um what more can you say you know I mean, as long as it does what it says in the tin and this this so far this kit does exactly that everything seems to fit beautifully and uh no problems so far so let's continue and continue we shall okay so what have we got left right um we've got the uh, rampant access door assembly okay so the access door is built into the ramp just in case you were wondering there why it says ramp and access door it's an access door in the ramp we all like a good access door in our ramp don't we so what have we got for that there's a couple of little pieces to go in here and then they kind of get sandwiched in by the uh, piece B4. Okay, uh, a couple of other little bits and pieces to go on then onto the end of that. We've got our tow hook, tow cable and stuff. And then we got to assemble our door, right? Now it depends whether you can have the door open or closed. Because I'm going to have the whole hatch open, I'm going to close the door, okay? I'm going to have the whole um, uh, ramp open, should I say. So I'm going to have the door itself closed. Um, I'm just going to be sort of fitted in in the closed situation. And it's also telling us here then to do our tracks. Okay, and like I said, I've already made a start on the tracks. Not a big start, I must admit. Not a big start. Uh, um, yeah, that, that, that's all I've gotten done with the tracks. Okay, so um, I've got plenty more to do because there's 80 links per side. Okay, and I haven't even got sort of a quarter of one side done, shall we say. So um, I better get cracking on them. But I'm not going to be fitting them anyway till after the painting, so I'm not really too worried about them. They, you know, as long as they're sort of ready for by the time I'm finished the turret and the whole lot, I'm happy with that. So um, we're going to get our, our, our ramp and, and do access door. We're going to get them uh, made up and fitted. Okay, like I said, I'm going to have it in the open position, so I'm not really too worried about uh how the whole thing goes together i'm going to have it in the open position so whether it actually gets sort of fitted now is in glued into place or not i do not know but um we'll see we'll see uh we also have the uh mud guards okay and front mud guard cover now like i said i'll dry fit them i don't know whether they're i won't glue this one into play oh excuse me windy's I will glue D11 into place, but I won't do D6. Okay, the front ones, because they seem to be kind of a, they have a, a sort of a wrap around piece, and I won't be fitting the uh, the, the sides here, uh, the side armor panels. You see them there. Okay, these yokes here, which we'll be assembling a little bit later on, not not too far away. Um, I won't be fitting them, but I will have them all made up, and what I'll do is I can kind of. Um, uh, 
paint them all separately and then attach everything for, for the weathering stage. Um, the weathering stage, the whole kit would be built at that stage, so I'm not really too worried about it. But for the actual base painting of it, I'm going to kind of leave it separate, just so I can get into little areas and things like that, so it's all done nice and neat. So um, I'm going to get done as far as there. Step 36. And as usual, we'll come back and we'll have a look. No, I'm not expecting to have the tracks done, but I'm expecting to have everything else. Okay, so see you in a second, I'll have them done. Okay, so I'm after getting them done now, I'm after getting the uh, the ramp and access door assembly, I'm after getting that done. Okay, I'm also after putting on the back door. Right. Now, I didn't do the tracks or put on the wheels, okay, as we know, I still have lots of tracks to make, so I'm not really too worried about them at the moment, I'll get around to it. And I've also gotten the, um, the rear parts of the mud carts done, and also these two little pieces here, right. Also, there's the front uh, fenders, which I haven't fitted on because that will sort of... Uh, just make the tracks that little bit harder to put on. I put them all on for a finish when I'm putting on the side skirts and things. Okay. So next, what are we up to next? Next, we're on to the air conditioning system. Okay. Now, first of all, we got to get up um, the air conditioner on the right. Then we got to build the left one, and then we got to fit them. Simple as that. Okay. So left rear and left rear, <laughs> left right and fitting, should I say. Okay, I'll get them all made up. We'll get them fitted. We'll have a look at them and we can discuss with any problems. Right, getting back to this bridge here. I had no, no problems whatsoever. Everything fitted in swimmingly. Okay, so I'm not getting very, very many problems. I'm not getting practically I'm getting no problems at all with this kit so far. So let's hope it continues that way. And uh, let's keep going. Okay, so I'm after getting the, uh, the the air-conditioners all sorted there. I need to build them up, get them together so easily. It's, it, it's unbelievable. Uh, P just slotted in. There was kind of nice screws for them to go into, so there was no problems with them. There wasn't any uh, usual awkwardness when it comes to PE. Um, two of them a left and a right and then we just fitted them okay so we'll have a look at all of that done there so okay here's our, our rear door we, we did that uh, earlier it works perfectly um it's just slightly off now at the moment because i've been playing around with it and here's our two uh air filters uh or air conditioning unit shall we say so the have to have the troops nice and warm. Have to have them. Have to have them comfortable. Have to be comfortable in the back. Okay. Now remember, I'm going to have the uh, the rear door down and that. I'm going to have this open. I'm going to have every hatch open that can possibly be open. So therefore, I'm going to have to build some form of base for it. But uh, so far, build is going nicely. Build is going nicely. Um, I have moved on another little bit. Okay. If we go on now to step 40, 41, and 42 and step 43 which is what i'm going to sort of get finished next i have step 40 done okay here is step 40 here's one of these uh side panel blocks we call them yes why not we call them side panel blocks all right um number of pieces to go into them uh everything fitted together beautifully really really did uh they just slotted into place uh quite literally okay so here we are here's a, a finished one was a bit of sanding to do on the back all these uh, uh, ejector pins had little big I wouldn't say little but big chunks sticking out of them so I did all them there was a little gap along here which I filled okay I just didn't like the look of it it probably won't be noticed because it's going to be upside down and in the bottom and things like that I just I didn't like it so I kind of just filled it up a bit with a bit of a uh, sprue goo and uh, there we go there's, there's one of the uh, side panels with the uh, extra armor and all that all done up okay very very easy instructions are straightforward and quite simple so we got another one of them to do okay 
Then we're onto the additional armor module on the glacius, this piece here, okay. And we've also got headlight assembly, right? Or headlights assemblies, okay. And then we're fitting them, right? Now, like I said, for the painting purposes, I'm going to leave the sides off, put the masking tape over the sides, spray the whole lot separate, put it all together, and then weather it when it's all together. Um, it's just so I can get the tracks and all that kind of nice stuff fitted. There's the reason now why I didn't fit the tracks. Okay. I didn't fit these uh, front mount cards because they're, they're, they're covering in on the tracks and you won't be able to get the uh, get the tracks fitted properly. So uh, I'm, I'm leaving that off. So we've got our armor panels and our headlights. Right. And uh, getting them all nicely fitted. So. I'll get that much done and as usual I'll get back to you. That'll be the end then of this video. Okay. Uh, the body. We have the body all finished off. So there isn't very much to do. It's just one more of these armor panels, a couple of bits for the top and then getting them fitted. So I'll see you back then and we'll kind of wrap up the video then at that. Right, okay then so I have to get the body all finished up now. Um and it looks quite amazing, I must admit. It really looks nice. Um, there's those extra armor panels there on the front, right? I'll just pop that off there. And as you can see, how they're fitted. It's quite, uh, quite ingenious, quite nice. Okay. Right, so it all just fits together really, 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 really nice. Um, these are the sides for it, right? as I, like I said, I'll be putting them on at a later stage once I've all the, the wheels and everything done, right? I'll just line it up and I'll show you why. Right, there's one, and there's the second piece up, right? It's lined up. I'd never get the tracks on with all that in place. I mean, it's quite obvious I'd never get the tracks on if I uh, added all that stuff in. Hold on, let me get some of my brain, change the light again. See? Right, so therefore I have to uh, sort of put them on after I do all that. So what I'm going to do is, um, when I'm doing the painting, I'm going to mask off this whole section here. All right, so when I fit in the sides then I can pop away the masking tape. I have a nice clean surface to, to for the uh, for the glue to adhere to because um, if you try to do it when it's already got the uh, paint and all that they don't seem to like it right they don't seem to like it at all so there's the two sides right there's the front of the vehicle and bring on the sides and the top all nicely done some lovely photo etch there like I said we're going to have that open we're also going to have this the thing about these I'm going to have to glue them on I don't like gluing them on but I'm going to have to well you're not going to see them so it doesn't really matter if they get lost but I suppose for for, for shits and giggles I'm going to glue them in position but um you know you can get to see a nice uh, interior view then on that right right so so far so good um really nice kit um, it's well worth the, uh, the, the investment, um, it's not an expensive kit, um, when it originally came out it was a little bit more expensive, but um, from what I gathered this is a slightly cheaper, cheapened down version of it, um, doesn't seem to have as much PE, I know that uh, with the original version, well like, I'm trying to remember back to say the version I had, it also had the busk on it. And I think that these, this mounting system here was all done in PE. Okay, now I'm quite happy that it's in plastic because uh, I'm not a lover of PE. I, I don't have a bender. Uh, I have no intentions of going off and purchasing a bender. Um, but uh, the PE that went onto this so far just, just fitted in perfectly. There's no problems with it whatsoever. Um, it just fitted on nice, so, like I said again, no, no problems with it, even though I'm after just popping off a piece, just as I said it. There's a little bit of PE, there we go, <laughs> tiniest little bit of PE there. But um, 
you know so far so good and uh, you know really really chuffed with how this kit is coming along it's taking me some time yes I know um, work commitments are getting in the way and things so I'm not really spending as much time as I normally do or I used to have done um, you know work it does get in the way and we got to think of our priorities you know family come first and all that kind of thing but uh it's always there and i always kind of you know in every couple of nights i, I get a, a little bit done on it so plenty still plenty to do on the tracks right individual like tracks they, they all kind of click together very very nice um oops so easy uh i'm going to have to kind of use a bit of glue for the final assembly of them um but they do, they do kind of, uh, they do fit, they do, they do work if you want them that way. I just think that they're just a little bit, that a little bit flimsy. Okay, um, any bit of, uh, you know, yeah. I was just about to say any little bit of a tug, and I just gave it a tug before I even said it. Any little bit of a tug, see, it will, they will pop off. So, um, you know, when it comes to actually final assembly of it, what I am going to do is I'm going to do the usual thing I do with uh, IndyLink tracks, where I'd uh, put them all in place, uh, a little bit of uh, glue down along the centre, give it a couple of seconds to sort of settle, and then, you know, wrap them around the tracks, saves them falling off at a later stage, and when you're trying to fit them all and things like that. Um, you know, that when the whole thing is kind of set then we can we can get them painted uh still quite a lot i mean i have I mean, one side here that this is 80 links between what i have here and there and i have another 80 links then in another little tub ready to go and some of these i haven't even sort of taken off the uh, <coughs> the thing yet and uh most of these have to be cleaned up uh for the cleaning up of the tracks it's not that hard but if you get a close look at the track you will see just a tiniest little knob let me see if you get a pointy stick something that's really nice and pointy all right we have a tiniest little knob here in the center all right that's got to be kind of cleared out and we get the odd little one here as well you see it there you can get it nice and close up so you've got one there and one there so you have two cleanup points on each track link um so you know compared to other tracks it's not that much but they still have to be done um so in the next video that's it for this one obviously in the next video we're going to start on the uh, on the turret and that's pretty extensive i must say it's a pretty extensive turret um so i'm looking forward to getting that done so please uh, if i keep stop whacking the uh, the camera around the place please join me for that and uh, we'll get this kit finally made and then we can start getting it painted and all the good weathering and stuff like that so um don't forget to give it a like the old thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel if you've not already subscribed and if you have thank you very much really do appreciate it and i will see you all very very soon on the next one Okay, so we're after getting it done, right? It's the, uh, the driver's hatch. Um, I presume it's some kind of sighting thing or another. A uh, spare track, a handle, and two little uh, bits of plastic. <laughs> Don't know what they are, but they, they go in there anyway, they look nice. Okay, and that was making up those little sub assemblies, right? So we'll have a look at them anyway, right? We start with the driver's hatch. Uh, it's on, it's in place, and it opens and closes with a little click. Now, one thing I did have to do, I had to g give the uh, the hinge there a little bit of a sanding because it didn't want to open. It was kind of getting about that far and didn't want to open. So I took it all off again and just sanded down the sides just the tiniest little bit. And now she'll open up and it'll open up grand. Okay, there we go. So that'll stay open now. Alright. So there's my driver's thing. And like I said, I can get in there quite easy after the painting and get the um you know, get those vision blocks in there, right? And get the inside all nicely painted up with the uh, internal colours as well. Um 
there's the handle, there's the spare tracks, and there's that little uh, thingy jiggy there, whatever it is, I don't know. It's a bit, it's a bit of uh, technology, right? And we also had these and that, okay? Two little pieces there, these two here. No, I know exactly what they are. They're for the hinges, obviously enough. For the hinges, for the uh, the covering of the, um, the, the the transmission cover, right? So they're in anyway. All happy. Little bit of P there on the front of that. Tiniest little bit there on the front. Can you see it? There we go. Tiniest little bit of P there on that as well. So, get them done. Now we move on then to step thirty. Uh, quite a bit on step 30 we've got the uh, engine um, transmission cover right so we got to get that fitted uh, this here would basically be this piece here uh, just a bit of uh, add-on armor so we're going to get that done and there's a couple of other little bits and pieces to go on as well um, a cover there for the uh, air intake and we've got a piece of PE to go on top of that as well so I'll get them done and as usual we'll come back have a quick look at them and then we'll decide what we're going to do next okay so 